if you have a small classic drink, if it's made well and you stay away from you know, extra coloring or, mm-hmm. or, or cordials and liquors and you really just make it with a great gin, a great vermouth and a dash of orange bitters, that's the key. So no big gulp martinis. No, no, no. no. Yeah, <laughs> none that Mayor Bloomberg would uh, <laughs> end up ban. banning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it. Sorry, right, it's made. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, pardon me, Coach, I'm going to grab some ice over here. So we're nice. actually, we actually hand cut our own ice, oh. which may seem a little excessive at home. Yeah. So in that way, I suggest people just do the best that they can. This is not entirely necessary, but I have something called obsessive compulsive martini making disorder, okay? So O C M M D. Okay, <laughs> exactly. got it. So for me it's really essential to make um, to take every process, every or every part of the process and make sure you're doing the best possible um, sort of technique to make a great martini. And the ice is very important. Exactly. So what I'm gonna do, and you'll never see this although it's anymore, although it's really described in a lot of old cocktail books, is I'm gonna rinse the ice. Ah, clean ice. Exactly. So we want to make sure to have clean ice. And, and it's really clean ice already, but we just want to make sure it's free and clear of any debris. And then you see the ice. It just looks like jewels in the glass. And I really like that, yeah. just for presentation anyway. Looks expensive. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take a, a, a good gin. This is Plymouth gin, one of my favorites. Um, and as you can see, I put it in the freezer. Yes. So this is as cold as you can get it. So and the I gin th- should be cold. I think so, yeah. And it will warm up in the glass, and you'll mm-hmm. have more of the characteristics of the, you know, first it starts out with a very uh, sort of like cold, taut, um, sharp taste, mm-hmm. that, little, that juniper core, and then kind of warms up, and you have more of that coriander and some of the spices. Um, and it, in that way, you can make a martini open up like wine would. Okay. So this is one and a half ounces of gin. And again, I measure everything out to make sure that it's perfect. It's not one and a quarter, it's not one and three quarters. <laughs> it's one and a half. It's one and a half. And then I'm gonna take a really high quality vermouth. This is from Chambry in France. So it's a lot like a you know, burgundy or champagne it has a specific appellation. So does this vermouth. And one and a half ounces. Now, a lot of people would say, well, that's not a dry, that's not a dry martini, right? Because mm-hmm. there's too much vermouth. But historically, dry meant dry vermouth and dry gin. Correct. And so that's why I'm confident making it with equal parts. OK. And then Literally. lastly, a dash of orange bitters. Literally a dash. Yep. And we're going to stir that until it's between. How long do you stir it for? Well, I would say about 30 to 50 strokes. Okay. So it depends on the size of your ice. Like I said, I'm pretty obsessive about this stuff. <laughs> but what I do is I take a beverage thermometer uh-huh. and I make sure it's between 29 and 31 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go, 30 degrees. 30. Let's do it. So I'm going to strain this into a chilled glass. And one of the reasons I like stirring instead of shaking, because a lot of people will shake a yes. martini, is because of that sort of smooth surface. There's no ice shards on it, right? So there's yeah. no pools of water. So every sip is a perfect sip. I'm going to take a little bit of a lemon peel here. And then we're just going to spray that on the top, right? You have the exocarp or the outside of the lemon has all of these wonderful oils on it. Some of them are bitter, so I'm going to spray it a little bit far away, so the bitter ones are heavier, and the lighter ones are very aromatic, and they're going to land right on the top. So let's do this. Just a little spray, and then discard. And that's it. The spraying of the lemon seems to be the most technical aspect of this. Yeah. (laughs) So here now, the sip. Is it good? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers. Cheers indeed. Mmm, that's delicious. Isn't it though? That's great. 